Okay, in this example, we're going to find the area and perimeter of a parallelogram. And to find the, um, the area, all you have to remember is that the area formula for a parallelogram, we just take the length of the base and multiply that by the height. So the length of the base multiplied by the height. And fortunately, we were already given both of those things. We're given that it has a base of length 8. And the height is the, um, this, uh, this dashed line here of 3.6. So we have to multiply those two values together. So it says the area is going to equal 8 multiplied by 3.6. And I'm just going to do this by hand. So let's see, I've got 3.6. I'm going to multiply that by 8. So let's see, 8 times 6, that's 48. So we'll drop down the 8 and carry the 4. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 4 is going to give us 28. And if we count, we've got uh, one decimal place. So I'll put the decimal place right there. And it says that we're going to get an area of 28.8 units. All right, so not too terrible. Again, just. Just formulas to know. The other part is the perimeter. And again, the, the perimeter is just the distance around. And since we have a parallelogram, the left side has a length of 4.2. That means the right side is also going to have a length of 4.2. The base, we said, has a length of 8. That means the top part is also going to have a length of 8. So we just have to add up those values, 4.2 plus 8 plus 4.2 plus 8. And that's going to give us the perimeter. So we said 4.2 plus 8 plus 4.2 plus 8. Well, let's see, 4.2 and 4.2, if we add those together, that's going to give us 8.4. If we add the 8 and the 8, that's going to give us 16. And let's see, so 8 plus 16, that would be 24. And then we still have to remember the 0.4. So 8.4 plus 16, that's going to give us a value of 24.4. And that's going to be the perimeter of our parallelogram.